guys welcome to ASFN once again I'm doing a long distance casting bait uh, basically for diamond sandies um, any of your flatfish very simple I'm using today a tennis racket string trace with a dangle I'm just gonna sort all of this out it's a little bit of a tangulation here there's my dangle which is made out of number 15 wire obviously tuna circle nano okay what we require for that dangle puller very very important sharp knife thick latex cotton and a bit of a chocker hammer optional and of course our dangle this bait like I said works very very well when the tide's pushing and you have to throw far you can either do it as a very clean bait or you can add um, cutlets to it very nice if there's no peckers around but a lot of times if you're fishing um tanzini you get a lot of those milkies and the bites very slow mm, not a good idea okay so what we do first of all take our dangle and just measure where we want to cut so there's our mackerel and it's frozen like I say it's like a, a rock hard one take your dangle place it next to your bait and you can actually see where you want to cut it so I want to cut it about there and I kid you not when I said it was frozen okay very nice okay now all I'm going to do is just shape it and like I said, like I said, it's basically for frozen baits and it's a long distance casting bait. So you want to try and get as much aerodynamics in it as possible. So we go like that, just to cut it. And all we're doing is just cutting it at an angle. Just to get the shape that we require. Okay, so that's basically what we're trying to achieve. Okay, now we just measure it once again to make sure that we're going to get the right size. So that's the length I want it to be. I don't want it to be too big, so I'm going to go just before the eyes over here. That's all I've really done. Nothing fancy to that. Uh, get my dangle puller Starting down the mouth area or the nose area over there and Just be careful when you're pushing through especially on a frozen bait Just work it work it work it and it should going it's going there we go very happy with that it's down the middle of it take our dangle put it into the groove of the dangle puller and all we do is we just pull it down just watch that bird and if you have a look there we've left a little bit of a burr on it what that does is stop any of the flat fish raggies whatever it is that you're fishing for not necessarily raggies because uh, the trace is not designed for raggies but any of those flat fish that you're looking for that might pull it off so you what happens is you get that pull down circle look tighten up oh it let go you're not too sure whether he's pulled your bait off or not with that there it literally doesn't come off so what we do is we just push it down there we go, there is my eye, there's my eye, I just can't find it, I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it, oh there it is, okay, so now all I'm going to do, just take my circle lock and 
Okay. So there it is there. There's, it's open over here. So your hook set's going to be quite proud. Um, we're just going to take our thick latex cotton. Just before we do that, we're just going to cut a couple of grooves into it. So that the cotton holds on better. And all we do is we just bind it up around there quite a bit. Like that. And we're going to do a couple of strips around it this way. Just to keep it in place. Just do this about 10-15 times around. It'll stop the dangle from coming off. And as this bait defrosts, the latex cotton, and like I said, this is a thick latex cotton, actually pulls tight onto the actual bait. And releases a lot of that blood and oil in it. And that's pretty much the bait that you would throw if you wanted to throw it quite far. You can add cutlets to it um, if you want to make a more juicy, smellier bait. Um, it does attract the smaller fish. To do that, very simple, I'll just show you quickly. What we do is we just cut at a slight angle. Take that away. And we cut it quite thin. You can see how thin it is over here. And again. And now we do two very thin cutlets. Okay. Take our chocker hammer. The thick side of it, obviously the hard side, the one with the bigger teeth on it. We just soften it up. And remember, these are frozen baits that we're doing today. Okay, so as simple as that. Now, take again our thick latex cotton. Just add it to the side of our bait. And that's just going to allow a lot more flavor and that to come out a lot quicker while the bait is actually defrosting. We're just trying to keep the, the shape the same the whole way through. One on this side, one on that side. And don't be afraid of cotton with this bait. The more cotton, the better it actually works, because it actually pulls the bait as it defrosts. It pushes out all the smell and flavor. And the fish that you're fishing for are generally quite big, so they're not too fussy. There's our sinker. There's our trace. And there we go, guys. There's a lovely summer fish bait and trace, all made, ready to throw, long distance for our flatfish for summer. Very quick, very easy, very short. And you can throw that a country mouth.